I also got so clear on so many things in my life and there was just such a such an access to a higher level of consciousness yes. I got to enjoy for multiple days yes. where there were just a lot of clarity and personal breakthroughs as well. Yes, I feel like it does that where fasting allows you to clear out the channels, all the blockages emotionally, mentally, physically, energetically, so that you can receive that new energy, that inspiration, that light. And it kind of is like a natural high where yeah. you're like just kind of like beaming and bouncing and like feeling so good. Blessings, beautiful beings. As always, it is an honor to connect with you. I'm here with the magical Victor Otto today, a close friend and also cosmic companion, a starseed guide for Ascension as well. He's many things. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. <laughs> yes. And one thing that we've been resonating on recently is fasting. Mm. On the topic of fasting and the importance, the power of fasting on a physical level, a chemical and DNA level, as well as on a spiritual level. Yeah, I feel like instead of like being fueled by food, you're yes. fueled by life force. Yes. And there's, there's, like you said, there's less blockages, so you're just like, you just, you just feel amazing, yes. really. I've been doing intermittent fasting, yes. which is where I like don't eat lunch until the afternoon. Same. But once in a while, I feel called to do a longer fast. So I yes. just got done doing a three, a, almost like a full 72 hour fast. And it was amazing. Yeah. I was like reminded of just how exactly what you said. I, I felt great physically. Yes. I felt like I had so much energy. So did you do a water fast or a dry fast? It was a or? water fast. I've okay. not worked up the nerve, the courage to do a dry fast, yes. although my friends have been trying to get me to do it, but it was just a water fast. So for those of you who don't know, there are different types of fasting where you can do like a juice fast with different green juices, fruit juices, or a water fast or a dry fast. Usually the dry fasts are like 36 hours to maybe like 48 because you do no liquids, no water. It's even said that you're not supposed to shower or brush your teeth, yeah. have any contact with water for the dry fast. And again, with that, it essentially like dehydrates and kills off all of the negative bacteria and energy inside of you, around you, so that you can receive new light, mm -hmm. so that you can experience this like high frequency energy and which is actually us at our natural state. Which I find so interesting how when you do fast and you do pause on the consumption, because if you think about it, like how many days have we gone without eating? Most people have never gone a day without eating in their life. Yeah. Most right. people. So it's like if we pause for even just a day or two days or three days and stop consuming so much and just like, over exhausting ourselves and over stimulating ourselves by building up everything if we allow for that to just pause for a bit then we can receive and let in the inspiration the creativity and the new energy yeah and there's like a super compensation effect on your body like yes. you said because it does take energy to process food without the need to digest there's all this energy it goes to healing and it'll eventually have some of your like healthier cells will start to consume your unhealthy cells yes. so it's profound for longevity. Also, like you said, I feel like just being in the fasted state, that emptied out state, mm -hmm. you're just a much clearer conduit for the inspirations and downloads of your, your soul and your higher self, where it's just so obvious. It's almost like you get mm -hmm. to kind of live life on earth as your higher self, sort of. You, I just feel like a different person sometimes, honestly. You realize that is your natural state. Mm, yes. That is actually you at your purity because you've let go and released all of the blockages, the things that are weighing onto you and everything that's kind of built up and you realize, oh wow, this is my natural state. I, I am meant to feel this good. Yeah. Absolutely. And also just being free of all the obligations of having to eat food yes. and the craving like that part. and the desire of eating. It's more like you just become really meditative naturally. You've become free of so many of your, yeah, your obligations and you get to kind of enjoy your natural state. It's a great way to put it. Roll through life for a few days as you as you yeah. just like fully present and i also find that it's really powerful and helpful to help break down emotions like if you're going through a shift or you're moving through something or you feel like heavy or like something has been weighted on you fasting is an incredible way to break down those blockages yeah. because when you stop consuming so much it actually allows you to digest the buildup 
the previous energies and actually process it so that it can move through. Yeah. Because if you think about it, if we're just like constantly consuming, we're just like adding on to everything and it, it doesn't allow for that which is at the core, which our emotions, we physically hold them. Yeah. Then that can actually get broken down and utilize process and again, you can like experience the new energy. Yeah, yeah, the, the same way your body will take all the energy to heal itself, it's like your emotional body does the exact same thing. Yes. And you know, sometimes we have issues sort of plaguing us that we, we want to heal but we don't know what they are, we don't have the yeah. clarity yep. and the fasting can give you the clarity, it can clear away the space to where there can be a movement. And that's why I feel like so many people do it as a spiritual practice because yeah. it is kind of like this acceleration, this ascension, this shift of a timeline, like I'm sure that you've noticed, if you fast for a little bit, if you fast for a day, if you fast for two days, three days, you feel like a different person. Yeah. afterwards like you have let go of so much and a part of that is because there is this spiritual union that happens when you are purified yeah when you are in that state of purifying yourself and not just on autopilot and going to eat whenever you're hungry and suppressing and silencing emotions and feelings instead you're being present with it and that is your connection to god is presence your breath when you connect to your presence and to your breath that is god that yeah. is like the holy essence the presence of god is that silence that connection yeah so you feel that you embody that when you're fasting yeah to a, to a very noticeable degree yes and it's to the point where i wish i could fast more often you need to like recover and eat and ground in i ended my fast you know on maybe a week ago and i'm already like thinking when can i when can when i can do, I it, do again? it again because you do you just feel like so connected to the divinity that's always there and it's yes. just to, to god to, to your higher self and it just feels so pure. refreshing and pure yes. and just wonderful i so feel that and also that's kind of a thing i actually did that two years ago where i dry fasted once a month and then I water fasted once a week. Nice. And that was like a quantum timeline that's not like sustainable for all years of my life, right. obviously. And it was like, okay, I felt like a huge energetic shift. I was like, I am on an ascension timeline. I'm ready to awaken myself. So I felt so much energy. I was so clear. I also had so much healing come mm. through that yeah. year where things that you would think are impossible with my family, with my past that are like, oh, that's just written off for life actually healed within that year. I feel like the fact that I was cleansing my energy and purifying myself, it also affected and amplified and rippled out to those who I'm connected to. Yeah. There's this spiritual union and connection that we have with everyone where as we do take initiative to purify ourselves and to cleanse ourselves and to just pause, that's really what it's about. I feel like that silence, that connection with presence is the medicine as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was one of the reasons I felt I should do it recently because I just haven't, I haven't like taken a break from my life. I've been knowing I need to do that. Yes. And the funny thing is, I did that for like a day. I like, I the first couple of days of fasting, I was like relaxed and, and meditative, but then I had so much energy. It came busier than normal. But, uh, but yeah, it really does have a, a profound effect on yourself. And you know, once you come out of the fast or even during, it'll start to affect your life, your yes. relationships in, in a very positive way. I, I feel that too when I fast for a good amount of time. I have so much energy where I'm like, oh, I, I'm not going to make myself work out. I don't need to do mm -hmm. it. But like the second or third day, I'm like, I want to do five workouts today. Yeah, and I also right? want to get a month's worth of work done today. Yeah. I want to do everything. And you'll probably be able to do it. Exactly. Yeah. And it's interesting because I feel like it is that presence and that silence within yourself that allows for you to have the energy to do and to be everything yes, else. And absolutely. It allows you to like have energy to extend yeah. when you're like, fully like present within that energy within self rather than just like seeking outwards and like filling the lack energy instantly, yeah. you know? Yeah, there's this coach I have named Doug and he talked about how the masculine gets their power when they're in the feminine. And I feel like it's like what you said, wow. like when you're in that silence, yes, you, you have more access to your power and also greater discernment of where you put it. So what you do is more supported and more aligned so it also practically speaking, seems far more productive yes. on that level as well. And I can say, like being a woman as well, with all of the energies and the emotions that we have and that rush through us, this divine feminine essence that is ultimately uncontrollable, if we do take time to be present, 
still and yes we still express but be conscious with how we want to express that it's so much better mm -hmm. so it's like that for the feminine too being in yeah. the feminine and being in the yeah. stillness is a lot better because it is kind of like a masculine energy to be extending and acting outwards so it's like we start it from the feminine from the womb you know there's like the womb within the woman and within the cosmic womb we yeah. the stars are like the womb and it's when we come back to that space that's when we have the ultimate connection with everything else. Yeah, and I think it's so cool because it's so much easier to get into that state. Like I meditate every day, yes. and sometimes it takes more effort to get into that like stillness where I feel like I can let go. When I'm fasted, I just slip into it, and I slip into it quickly, yes. and to a degree to where I could just be here all day. Yeah, like, You really get to experience like, like higher octaves of that silence within yourself to where it's just so inviting. The meditation is just so effortless. I feel like it's that silencing of the monkey mind where it's like, oh, I have access to everything here and I need to do nothing. Mm -hmm. I just am. Like, yeah. it's all divine. I, yes, it's so comforting and yeah. so nourishing. And also I find there's also just more time to be creative and kind of contemplate yes. because I didn't, you know, I feel like eating takes, of course, a little while, half hour, yeah, but it's more least. like the energy that goes into it, the thoughts, and it's kind of like it's distracting in a right, sense because right. you're eating and you're, you're enjoying it. Yes. And when there's none of that, you're just like have all this kind of time on your hands yes. to just think. And the quality of your thoughts because of all we discussed is there's so much better quality thoughts. Yes. So it's just a great time to like reevaluate your life and yourself and have all these other cool benefits. And I also feel like that energy of being hungry is like a seeking energy that is so distracting mm -hmm. that also translates into different ways you know often we feel hunger and we think that it is for food but it may be for soul nourishment mm -hmm. it may be for something else it may not be that we're wanting cookies and that's what this hunger is calling but we actually want to express something or speak our truth or take a risk or do something take action on something or even just be still and to stop consuming to process something. So when you're in that fasting state and you just like decide to yourself and speak to yourself, which by the way, before I fast, I like to actually communicate to my body where I'm like, okay, we're not gonna be eating. We're not gonna be drinking <laughs> for two days, three days. Don't panic. Don't be in a fear state. You're okay. Like we're in, in, intentionally choosing this. And like just communicate to my body so that it knows that it's going to be okay. Yeah. But when you're in that state of knowing, okay, if I'm hungry, I'm not gonna be just suppressing it with food and just filling it with food. Then this energy of like seeking and needing and like, trying to reach outside of yourself begins to diminish and you start yeah. to fully access and find your power and your contentment from within yes well said absolutely yeah yeah i feel like a lot of time with eating or many other things we do to distract ourselves like yes. going on the you know scrolling instagram social media it's kind of like like you said that craving to, to yes. eat oftentimes it's not like the body saying I need nourishment yeah. it's like I don't want to feel this feeling I don't want to look at this within myself but with fasting you have no choice right you just have to let those craving waves come and go then you get to like get deeper and deeper and deeper into what may have been perpetuating them what get the root the, of it is yeah and get to the yes. root finally yes clear the core yeah yeah and I find by the end of the fast I feel like I'm it's like easy not to eat. I sometimes I don't want to eat Same. because I feel so Same. good. And a lot of it is because the whole thing's a meditation. You can't give in to your cravings for distraction. Just get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Mm -hmm. So what are a few things that you like to do to help your fasting process? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one, of the, one of the funny things I do, I like that you said you talk to your body. For me, usually there comes a point on the first day normally around like dinner time where it's one thing when your mind wants food, right. but by around dinner time on the first day my body saying you need food right. you're not feeling how you should and you'd feel better if you ate so yep. at that point I find it to be kind of a pivotal point psychological discipline needs to be in order so what I like to do is take the kids to a movie really? <laughs> I like to yeah, I, I like to break up that. my patterns it's torture just to watch everyone eat but if yes. I can go to the movies around like five o'clock once I come home at like eight o'clock yep. it's like dinner times over and I it just made it makes it a lot easier mentally try to really break up my patterns early on so I, I, so I just that. don't tempt myself I love that and it's so cute too because 
even just that act of you doing something that's bettering yourself is also encouraging you and aligning you to a reality where you're getting to spend more time with your kids doing something that you don't usually do. Yeah, they love it. Yes, I saw they saw the Spider-Man the other day and they thought it was amazing. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. That's so good. Yeah. That is really a pivotal point where it's like, when you're fasting, you, you can like not eat for like the whole day. I mean, at least I'm used to intermittent fasting as mm -hmm. you are too. And then it's like when dinner comes, it's like you're either choosing like I'm really going to do this or I'm not. I'm, I'm going to fall subject to the hunger and I'm just going to cave in. And once you do make that decision to actually do it and to not eat and to move through that energy, I feel like that doesn't come back in right. the same way. There's it like this, this strength, there's this energy that comes where it's like this stronger momentum that is yeah. propelling you along, encouraging you to keep fasting. Yeah. And you it, just have to get past that. You that do, there, there's that point. There's a point yeah. of where you can almost justify breaking the fast. Yes. You really gotta be strong. Yes. But after that, there's not only, I think, like the sense of reward and like, I'm proud yeah. of myself. I, I, I made it through that, but also the ketosis starts to kick in yep. and your, your body starts to kind of shift itself and you start to tap into all the things that we were discussing, increased energy and clarity and spiritual connection. Yep. And then it's like, mm, I like it here. Exactly. And it's like easy. And there, within that, there are sometimes waves of hunger or fatigue, yes, yes. but, but actually, it's, it's really not a big deal. It's They're not. Easy, pretty easy to withstand at that point. Totally. Yes. And it's interesting interesting too because I was doing research a while ago when I was like really getting into fasting on when does your body like actually become hungry at that point where we're like we're feeling like fatigued and like weak in our body our gut it's like like in our gut like yeah. telling us like we're hungry that's actually not real hunger mm. that's out of habit because yeah. our body is used to eating and receiving nutrients at that time so it's kind of like signaling like hey this is when we have nutrients it's time for you to do that thing that you do every single day <laughs> right. and though we think it's hunger it's not real hunger real hunger comes after five days yeah. of no food and often no water too and it's actually i find this really interesting our gut i'm sure you've heard is like our second brain as well we don't feel the hunger in the gut the pain is actually at the roof of your mouth Hmm. That's where you feel real hunger wow. when you are starving like when you actually have that it's not even in the belly at all Really? Yeah, so with that information I found it so interesting because I was like wow even just re-clarifying and Retranslating and understanding how my body is communicating with me yeah. where I have always identified this with I'm hungry I'm hungry, right, but actually my body's not really hungry then it's like this is a habit. Do this like yeah. you usually do. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. yeah. And I find that when it's time to break my fast, there isn't that same type of hunger. It's more yes. of like an intuition, like it's just time to feed my yes. body and give it some sustenance yes. rather than I really want a, a, you know, a milkshake or something. It's right. more like I don't need to eat, but I, I feel like it'd be best to eat at this point. Yep, exactly. And like with that too, you start to see like, okay, who was it? What was it really craving that milkshake? Right, like, yeah. Like, what was it my sad inner child about, like, who's yeah. still sad about this and suppressed about this that was wanting that milkshake? Mm -hmm. Or was it my body, my cells? Like, did my bones want that milkshake? Probably not. Yeah, right. Probably not. Yeah, and by that time, you're not craving milkshakes. Yeah. You're, you're thinking like, I know for me, I want to like preserve the that, that state, so I'm extremely <laughs> careful and choosy with what I eat. Yes. And it's always really healthy and kind of simple, yep. easy to digest. I know the fasting state's gonna go away. The last thing I want, in fact, it's that was, crash. It's, it's like the, the unhealthy food. That's like the, that's like the furthest thing from my mind. Yeah. And I used to be a personal trainer and I yes. would try to get my clients to fast. And one of my main selling points for them, not so much the spiritual growth, but for yeah. them, I'd say it'll help you re uh, reconfigure your relationship with food. Mm. Like by the end, you will want, you will healthy gravitate things. to healthy things yes. because you're just more in touch with what your body actually wants. Kind yes. of like what you said. Yes, you can hear your body actually craving nutrients to yeah. feed your cells and to assist your body in functioning optimally. That's like what your body is really saying. And you can hear that clearly once you've allowed for the voices of the emotions or the parasites or the bacteria to release, mm -hmm. to go away. Do you do any like detox? I know I, I like to go in the sauna yes. and like colonic. I like doing those practices like light therapy and infrared sauna and listening to bin binaural beats and doing colonics or enemas. I love doing that on the regular, mm -hmm. but during the fast, yes. I find yeah. like 
it's necessary and important for me to also incorporate other things that are helpful for my body to be in a better state while I'm fasting yes. to propel the healing. Yeah, me, me too. I know this last time I did, I felt like there was about a day or half a day where I just had this sense I was detoxing. So yep. I went in the sauna yes. and did some stretching and some yoga and some breath work, as you said. Yep. And I did things to kind of like pamper myself in a way, assist with the process that seemed to be already going on anyway. That's exactly it. It's like assisting your body in being able to function optimally because mm -hmm. you're able to actually hear your body where you're able to recognize, oh, my body is detoxing. What can I do to assist it, to help it? Yeah. Rather than, oh, I'm just going to do something that may not be the best for me mm -hmm. and just to silence this energy. But when you're in that state and you have that intention, it's like, what is the best for me? Yeah. What can I do to actually help move this through rather than just suppress or silence it? Yeah, and then it seems to get, o get over with pretty quickly, yes. the detox part. I, I yes. felt better within a matter of hours, I would say. Yeah. And like we've mentioned, like that energy and that feeling that clarity, that connection that you have after fasting is just like indescribable, priceless. There is yeah. nothing like it. And the most exciting part is that everyone has access to this. Yes. It's like we just have to stop doing the things. It's mm -hmm. it's not even like, all right, buy this, do this, create this, do this practice, get the. It's like just pause for a little. Yeah, it's free. Yeah. I know, I know I've, I've done a lot of like different plant medicines and things I've done for the purpose of shadow work that doesn't just resonate with everybody. Right. But fasting is one of those things that it's super up there in power and potency and it's available to every everybody right now. Yeah. Just stop eating like you said. Yeah. So yeah, fasting has been huge for both of us, obviously. And I'm curious if any of you have tried fasting before, let us know in the comments below, or if you do feel inspired and called to try your own fast in your own way, would also love to hear that because what a cool thing to like amplify that to everyone and share that information. Yeah, it's yeah. a very powerful spiritual accelerant yes. big time. And it's really cool that you would offer that to your audience because I bet a lot of them will fast and there's a huge ripple effect as you were saying. Yes, thank you. Yes, and thank you so much for coming on and for being a part of this I feel like a lot of my virtual family will really resonate with you and oh, love good. you and I love you so much once again So like it's like just a vibe and you're so emotionally connected to yourself and aware and just so like Considerate and compassionate yet hilarious and intelligent huh. and everything. There's many many things So I just really appreciate you as a human. Thank you. Thank you Heather. Yes. It's, it's an honor a, a, a real blessing to be on here with all of you and I feel flattered that you would invite me on on your channel so thank you yes of course and yes as mentioned before we also have a video on his channel so if you haven't seen that definitely go check that out and all of his information will also be in the links below definitely check him out if you haven't yet and thank you so much for tuning in with us we appreciate you sending infinite love and blessings and so it is